Welcome to the show. Today's episode is proudly sponsored by Grow Generation, where the pros go to grow. More on them in a bit. Welcome everybody to the Anime Versal Reviews Podcast, where we review anime, just like the title says. Okay, okay, okay. so yeah, yeah, I believe uh, I've got a great intro pro, and it says something about our sponsors with Grow Gener- Generation. If not, this show is sp- sponsored by them. Thank you, thank you guys. And I am so, super, so, super excited to talk about t- today's uh, uh, episode of Do- Dr. Stone, The Stone Wars. It's ep- episode eight. Oh, God, I just realized I get to say something good about uh, episode eight of something. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, man this 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 is a uh, final battle uh even though we've got more more to come um th- this this is this is this is awesome but but before we get in in t- too far i definitely got to welcome over our uh guest host of course i have my uh significant other christine right here hi and our uh brother our 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 anime dude our our guy that kind of got just dragged into our family because you know he he was my friend and i'm like you're you're coming on this trip with me (laughs) (laughs) brian brian what's up bud hey man um guys uh since christine missed out last week brian i think it would be fair to go to her first and get an initial reaction to to, to this episode. Um. Uh, okay. Um. It was really good. Um. I'm trying to trying to find out where to start because it's like there's so much that happened and I kind of don't know how I feel about it because of something that happens later in it and I can't say it right now. Um, but yeah, it was really good, really cool. Um, things was it coming together and what? Shocking, sir, uh, or surprising, or did you? Well, yeah, it was the the that part I'm talking okay. about is shocking. So it's kind of like, you know, it. I don't know. Just you want to get into the nitty gritty. Yeah, I want to. I want to yeah. get from the beginning because <laughs> you know, like all I can think about is that the yeah. the the part that happens. Near the end. Uh, but Brian, do do you have any more uh, elo- eloquence in in you to to <laughs> talk about it uh, uh, in a in a brief way before we get get into it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it it did two things. I uh, great, and, and one of them being there was a lot of recap and sort of showing us the past, but done beautifully. Mm. And this is that's how the way it did it is what I what I like. And the second thing is. I don't think it was meant as a joke, and I'm not saying it was a joke, but I loved it. The idea, you know, anyone who's been a fan of anime, especially like tournament style, um, you know, you'll have a five minute fight will be 20 episodes. <laughs> and here we have 20 seconds, which was five, six, seven minutes. Yes. Yeah. Um, we'll get into that, obviously, but I, I kept thinking about I don't know if this was intentionally a commentary on that sort of thing that a lot of anime does or or not but i loved it yeah uh it was an in, an incredibly awesome thing to watch in in my mind i i was um i i was very 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 impressed with um with the music usage with the 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 flash flashback usage uh just and and even the way that they they recap what happened last episode, so so to speak, to 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 reset, I I think was all wonderfully done. And it, there there are some moments in this that just left me speechless while watching. Legit, like fuck, like you couldn't even get the. <laughs> out <laughs> yeah like that's like when you ask my initial reaction yeah. it's still like i've watched it i've processed it and i'm still like um wow well let's go go ahead and see if we can't process it some more so okay uh it uh um it uh it shows how how kind of like uh time passes 
after the the stone the stone stoning the great stoning it happened on April twentieth twenty twenty well anyway ways um <laughs> uh and it shows ba- basically Senku's stone j- journey his s- statue journey if you if you will and uh um we get to see you know how he ended up with the nitric acid dripping onto him to 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 wake up and uh. The 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 trip to day Z zero ba- basically um, before the reset of of the the battle, I I think it kind of sets this resets the stakes for us, um, sh- showing us that that flashback after the the whole Chrome ordeal and and la- last episode being you know what it what it was, um, I think this really kind of just resets. Uh, and builds on what we learned about the secret mission la- last episode. Yeah, Yuzuri Haas putting uh, statues back together, and I think this was a wonderful way to um to to reset uh and set us up before the twenty second clock starts. Uh, Brian, Brian, what would how did you think about that? It looked really good. I, I kept trying to figure out if it was reused or original animation. I think some of it was original. Um, even, like you said, his stone journey and stuff. Um, yeah, to me, you know, sometimes when I complain about a um, recap, it's because it feels like it's not needed. What was recapped here was needed because of what, of what we're going into. It was literally setting up, you know, this is supposedly the final battle and um, this was an example of it being done in a way that makes sense to the story. It doesn't feel like filler. Right. And uh, Christine, it wraps us right back to day, day zero where it all began, began where Senku awake, awakens and eventually awakens Taiju, yeah. uh, taking us to, to this this miracle cave. It's um, kind of like a, like a reminder, you know, to the audience, like how big this is, you know, um, I guess to... You know, what's the word? Hype you know, it up. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, think of that. Okay, yeah, that's all. That's that's a, that's all right. That's what the brain, brain dead husbands here here for. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, man! One of these days, I'm I'm gonna really work on getting these uh, audios better. But anyways, uh, not that they're t- terrible. They're just you know, uh, um, the twenty seconds. Brian, as soon as I saw uh, the ba- battles start in the 22nd clock, first off, I was like, that's like a fun little, you know, shout out to Capcom. And then I was like, and <laughs> it's a 24. <laughs> a show that I love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's that that digital cl- clock. It's the yellowish orange color to it. Not necessarily a, you know, 100 percent ma- match, but. I still thought 24 is what p- popped into my my mind. They they are going off of what happened last episode where where Senku tells everyone, "Hey, you know, we're going to fire this shot. It's going to be 20 seconds of chaos, okay? And then uh people are going to come to their senses and we need to get set and get b- basically the high ground, the the cave uh where at least they know there's nothing behind them." They only have to defend one side. They can fortify, and even Kohaku mentions it's a siege war at one one point. Um, and and uh, uh, we get to see multiple sides of this this battle and multiple actions. And uh, as the clock ticks down, and so you might see like five or six different things going on, but that was all happening in four seconds each, you know? And, Mm -hmm. and like Brian says, it does, it, it spreads this 20 seconds over, uh, four or five minutes, but it, it does it in a way that is epic, epic. It, it allows you to, to explore, um, different characters and, and how they, 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 fight uh i mean we we get even um uh you know speeches from 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 certain characters uh you know when they when they run into battle it's 
it's just aw- awesome. Um, and and uh, um, what do I have written right there? But before, oh oh, <laughs> I was gonna say they they go they go uh after the the cave and and uh um. They fire the the shell, uh, but before it hits, the the credits roll. And God, God, Christine's. I hate that. Christine's right, Brian. That that song just does not feel like an opening credit song, does it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's like you had all this excitement, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> it's like, oh, great. Oh, okay. Well, whenever the song's over with, we can get back to the excitement. <laughs> So um that happens but uh what's what's really what's really cool is that the the confusion works and I want to kind of cover the a big chunk of this battle before we we let you guys guys chew into your fav- favorite parts and um uh you've got of course you know Kohaku leaping cutting th- things uh 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 taking people down leading at actually giving commands and and stuff um you've got senku again um and uh chrome in the tank uh pushing through trying to break as many traps as they can and clear the the way uh to to allow the ground ground troops you know uh not to fault to the those traps uh, magma out there, ready to kill people, even though he's been told not to. I don't know if you noticed, Br- Brian. I told Christy he's still using a stone axe. Did you notice that? I didn't. Yeah, no. he's still using a stone axe. Um, so that was interesting to me. I don't know if it means anything, but it's interesting enough. Enough. Um, either a potential rejection of steel or didn't trust himself with something sharp, you know, figured, you know, blunt object. Or just going with what's comfortable. Might be a comfortable thing. It might be nothing, nothing at all. It might be they just didn't think to uh, upgrade Magma's weapon. Um, But uh, uh, one of the cool, cool things during it, though, is the um, Taiju with the shield and, and blocking and uh everyone wanting to you know get get behind him and and pu- push forward and 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 it's just this this incre- incredibly e- epic battle scene that does eventually lead up to the tank crash and I'll I'll stop stop there and let Christine go go for first okay one thing i wanted to add about the traps like i know that um you know they they probably weren't expecting when building them what was going to be approaching. So with um with the gorilla tank, mm-hmm. um you know it was able to to break through some of that because they they built Sting it with like gorilla. a hole. Yeah, yeah they yeah. they built it with like holes and then punji stick. Yeah, so you have like these like was it bamboo and then punji sticks. Well, okay, well whatever it's called, <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Um. What, Bri- Brian? <laughs> what are those things called in the gra- ground? I don't. I'm not getting in this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's kind of like he, they're just like rolling on top of them um, until you know they can't keep going. But you know, it's like at the right, they're at the right angle, uh, or you know, at the right moment in in driving through. Um, to break through and just keep going. Yeah. Um. So it's just like a, you know, a fail for the bad guys. Yeah. I will add one additional thing. We do get an an invention here. Uh. It's it's just another play on chemical reactions for big fireball, but not um. Excuse me. Not uh e- explosive damage similar to the sonic bombs they used. Uh earlier in the season but this time with a a fiery flash and and Senku even calls it a Hollywood style flash or a ho- Hollywood style fire it's um, meant to just be surprising and you know yeah. take take them off guard some more and yeah yeah and um a- any other uh big parts before the tank crash before people try to escape or or anything like that that you wanted wanted to point out or t- talk about um 
I don't know. I know that I definitely wanted to mention that one. Um, no, I'm, I'm going to pass it on to Brian. Yeah, I love the the countdown. Like I said, I, I love, like you said, I'm, I'm also a big fan of 24 and thought that was cool. And like I said, like you go back to, uh, I think Goku versus Vegeta and Dragon Ball Z. It's, I think it's like 10 plus episodes, but the fight was like a couple minutes. Like, yeah. like there's a lot of animes that do that where you'll have a very small amount of time that passes, but it's told over a long period of time. Like you said, though, the way it was done, showing each piece, it worked. It made sense. Um, I also like the whole idea that everything they had worked for all hinged on 20 seconds. And yeah, I just, it, it, at it, the end it, of it yet. <laughs> exactly. And I like the, I like that the, the drama that sets up and, and this episode does a great job of, of doing that. And so, yeah. Um, so after the tank hits the punji sticks, go ahead. Nice. I'll say it. Kyle's always right. Ooh, Feel good nice. about yourself? <laughs> My man. <laughs> I hate you both right now. I hate you both. Oh god. <laughs> Ooh, man, that was that was just, dude, that was be- that was beautiful, Br- Br- Brian. I you, like I, you know you know you know what? Uh what where where is that that insert meme here? <laughs> <laughs> And and and, and the, this this meme will definitely annoy Christine and and I I know it and Great. that's that's awesome and you know what else is awesome the fact that this episode is sponsored by Grow Generation and it gets these awesome copy reads by my uh w- wonderful wife who will not be har- harming me in the middle of the night even <laughs> though I still have this strange cut on my uh, arm I don't know where it ca- came from uh grow growgeneration.com it's where the pros go to grow uh please check them out after you guys finish this video so so you can watch this awesome ad take it away Okay, and then send the Grow Generation, where the pros go to grow. From propagation to harvest, they have everything you need for your special garden. Grow Generation serves customers across the nation and carries a wide inventory of renowned cultivation brands. Go to www.growgeneration.com, where the pros go to grow. Thanks, guys, for sponsoring the episode. Um, the tank crashes, and, and we, we've still got time. And... We get this 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 really uh really cool um uh scene where magma opens the d- door to to the tank and Senku and Gen and them are all classic uh uh anime chibi knock knocked out you know silly lines it's great I, I fucking love this show um <laughs> and they say you uh Senku tells him you're up and. Dude, holy shit, they made a so- sonic cannon. Uh, that was surprising. I I saw saw it. I was like, what what is that? And and I started thinking really fast. I was like, there's there's no mi- microwave. There there's no way they I mean, yeah, he could do electromagnets, but like there there there's no way he could do a microwave powerful enough to to sh- shoot. I was like, is it a heat ray of some? No, that no. doesn't make any fucking. And then they put the bomb in it. And as soon as I saw him put a package in it, I go, "It's a so- sonic cannon." And yeah. fuck you, Jawa. Fuck, I am not selling you you anything right now. I'm doing podcasts. The the parts will be in the. Oh, so- sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to keep. Uh yeah, I'm gonna mute, mute that. That okay. Anyways, um, uh, I I've actually been hit with a, a sonic weapon. Brian, did, have I ever told you that story? I I don't recall. Okay. Uh, you said it to oh, me. Is, did you, you volunteer for it? Yes, I volunteered. Okay, I, for maybe it. you did. I, I vaguely remember. Okay, so you volunteer for everything. I do. do. Well, uh, I was in a future weapons class. Um. And we were messing with with future weapons, and one set is future crowd control we- weapons, and one of them is a direct directional high frequency, you know, so super high high pitched uh, uh, sonic weapon that it it makes you not wanna not wanna be there at all. 
Like, <laughs> I have no no other way of describing it's 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 painful in a way that's that that is. It's painful, but it's it's the discomfort and the the absolute confusion because your brain does doesn't know know how to process that type of audio uh, yeah. stimulation, and so you're you're confused, you're angry, <laughs> you're 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 uh, hurt, Un- uncomfortable, you're uncomfortable, uncom- and you're, the first thing you you do is turn away from it and and put your hands over your e- ears and you you realize once you're out of a certain angle it's it's done the pain, pain's over her and you go go away and and you're like okay yeah I'm good I'm good dude uh uh until someone tells you okay see who can get to this line and then a bunch of soldiers are you know trying their hardest to to figure out ways to get get to the this line in the sand while two civilians aim, aim sonic cannons at you. <laughs> <laughs> and what I thought it was funny when watching um, this part is I noticed that, you know, we're both getting it at the same time. So we're both like gasping and no, is that what I think it is? And yeah. So it was, it was funny. Um, what did you think of the uh, sonic cannon, Brian? Brian? No, it was awesome, especially with what you're gonna say next, uh, or what happens at the end with it. Yes. Um. Yeah. It, it was. It was really cool. And yet again, I, I love how we never fully know Sinku's plans. Mm. We only, you know, he he constantly is sort of ref, you know talking to everyone and somewhat the audience, but we're never completely told. And I love I love the surprises. Yeah. Um. There. There's uh. A uh, time where the uh, uh, re- reporter sees what what's go- going on. The reporter girl, blonde blonde girl from from uh, er- earlier, uh, the robot bubbly one, um, and the uh, she goes, "I'm gonna go off and t- tell Sukasa, and a few others of of his troop are r- running away, and uh, they're stopped by the." I guess at this point we can call them the Sukasa t- turncoats, the ones that have joined Senku, uh, believing that Lillian and and the Americans are on their their way, and they're led by uh, um, initially stopped by Ukio, uh, who sh- shoots an arrow to stop stop her, and then Nikki um, tickles her. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. I did not see that coming. That. Interesting they battle s- strategy. Said no, no deaths. Yep. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, uh, they they all they they all get uh stopped basically, and um, uh, the 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 seconds are still counting down, but people are starting to to come to their their senses. A bomb that was going to be be used as a second sonic cannon round breaks in in midair and uh right as senku and uh chrome and i think it was magma maybe it was again looked to be smashed by sukasa's people taiju puts himself between them and i i, I scream oh my god no <laughs> <laughs> yep it did it, it's it's scared me for a second, but then you see him taking this big breath, breath of air, and he does what Taiju does best, which is yell. <laughs> yes. And uses uh uh the sonic cannon. It's definitely a little exaggerated on how powerful it would would be from a voice, but uh still cool cool effect effect, cool scene. Uh, Christine, would you would you did you think Taiju was about to take take a couple of spears to to the back there? I thought he'd take like one, but still like power through it because mm-hmm. I mean, it, the guy can take a lot, you know. So I I figured he'd be fine. Um, but yeah, it was it was funny to see him screaming it. It's like, yep, saw it coming because it's like, yeah, that's uh, he's he's got a good set of lungs, so of course he's gonna use them. <laughs> and I liked the uh, notice in in the fact that Taiju can communicate with um, Senku, uh, Brian. Uh, through look you know he he you know looks at him takes a breath Senku's like oh lifts up the thing and and they execute what do you think of the second 
uh, improvised sonic can- cannon. Yeah, like you for a second, I thought it was a sacrificial move. Mm-hmm. Um, I did, and I was like, oh. And then when I realized what was happening, I was like, all right, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, it it did the way it, the way it built up. I, I I was worried for a moment. Yeah, definitely. But um, uh, the the timer runs out. They've ca- captured everyone. Um, the old ch- chief, I forget his name at the at this moment, but um. Him and Jasper and and some of the others, uh, uh, Magma's little minion have you know a lot of Sukasa guys captured. There's have been no casualties. Um, they, there's this beautiful flashback uh, that and and this this wonderful music that just remind reminds me of something from Brad Wimps, but it's not but it's so, so beautiful and and so good good um and it's i i don't know Brian i i felt again like we we had an er, earlier flashback but i i feel like this again is definitely really needed um here in the immediate future um but just go uh artwork m- music like do you, do you need to gush over this scene at all? Because I I fucking lo- loved it. Yeah, like like you said, it the there are certain things you know. This is the build up. This is the big finale. Everything they've been working towards. So so certain things need to be we need to be reminded of. Um, and yet again, even through that scene, I'm trying to remember what's new and what's reused animation because some of it looked crisper. But you know what I mean? I don't know. I, maybe they, I'm just. I think they retouched. Even, yeah, even like old stuff was re- retouched it even. Yeah. And so that yeah, that was something I was I was trying to trying to gauge, but no, it um it was needed uh, in the way the way it was done. It, it wasn't a throwaway. It was it was telling helping tell the story. Yeah, beautiful. Christine, what'd you think? Yeah, it was great. Making fun of me stro- stroking my Yeah, beard. that's exactly <laughs> like what, what I was just doing. Like he's playing with his I, beard I, and I'm just like Picking on him. I don't know what to do with it because it's not. <sighs> it's normal. I I I play with my hair too. Like just <laughs> mess with it. So now that you have hair, because you're out of the army, you get to have hair. So you yeah, it's it's not a bad thing, but it is funny to watch you do it. Jeez. Uh, not sure. Okay. Any anyways. Um. Yeah. Uh. It's a great 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 uh. Uh, throwback scene like I like I said, and then Senku's like, you know, hey, it's it's time for gun gunpowder. Um, uh, we got to get you know s- you know set up for for Sukasa. They don't know that Sukasa found the the phone. Correct. So that that means they don't know how long Sukasa has been on his way because the last thing they heard. Roughly a minute or so ago, what from Ukio was Sukasa and them were at the at the what you call it. We 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 should have plenty of plenty of time time. Uh, Hioga, that's it, that's it. And um, but uh, the, ooh, excuse me, they've got uh pre-made gunpowder solutions. Basically, all they need to do is add the nitric acid and probably no, they probably already added the sugar. But anyways, um, and they're gonna they're gonna use that. When uh, all of a sudden Ukio hears uh, Tsukasa and Hyoga running and he tries to warn them, you know, he's like, guys got to get, get out of here. And he's like, they're fast, but they can't can't be that fast. And then, holy fuck, dude, who Hyoga hits uh, uh, um, uh, Yukio in in center mass so chest stomach somewhere in important uh with with the spear and another spear hits the the uh pre pre-made um uh charcoal and uh calcium whatever the f- fuck um and yukio's down dude the the damn uh uh spear is is deep co- covered in blood and and I know yeah. it's anime and and it can be very mel- melodramatic, 
but we we've been lo looking for a, a death and i'm not i don't th think he's he's dead but i'll t tell you what you want to be be brave and bold in story you kill ukio right right here right now i don't know if that's going to happen i don't want it to happen I don't know what I want, but it was shocking as fuck for for it to happen. And then we get the su super villain or superhero, depending on whose side you're on. Landings of basically uh, Hyoga and Sukasa. So before we we get into the this kind of like the final showdown, um, the the Ukyo hit Brian. What what do you th think? What do you think? <laughs> What do you feel? I think he's alive right this second, but I don't know that it'll stay that way. Like I said, he's bleeding, and the remainder of the episode, he's just bleeding out. I mean, I, he's lying there, and you're like, holy shit. Um, it was surprising the way it happened. It makes sense, though. I could, You know what I mean? Like, he has betrayed them, and, and the way in which he positioned himself, just the whole thing. Yeah, I, I, I completely get it. Um, he is one of my new favorite characters. And so it would it would suck for him to go at this point, mm -hmm. but and it not have been Yo Yo should have been killed. Um, <laughs> and I just, he's one of those characters. Hashtag I'm like, he should have been Yo. <laughs> he's gonna show up in like season five, and I'm be like, oh god. <laughs> but um, but no, yeah, no. This was uh, there was a lot of blood. There was no. This is not faked. I don't. I don't believe in any way. He he is wounded, and I would assume it might be fatal. I don't know. Yeah. What yeah, think, I think I think he's dying not dead. Um and we'll we'll probably see maybe a little bit of that in the next episode. Um but yeah, I mean it's not like you can call a medic right now and and it's not like they have like you know a lot of medical technology. That's not what their big focus was. I mean, they made medicine, but I mean as far as you know dealing with um like like trauma medicine you know, the, I don't know if they have that set up. I don't know what, um, um, if, if they've done anything yeah. about that, like, you know, what has, you know, like what has been expected or thought of. Um, so yeah, I think in the, the next episode, you know, he's probably not going to make it. And I'm, I was very shocked and I'm a little upset about it. <laughs> so... <laughs> Isn't that a great, great sign of a of a character and a and a story though? Though, like mm -hmm. it, it really is. Like I said, <clears throat> I think in the end, him dying story wise is great. Even if they let him get a final word in, okay. I think it would hit really, really hard if he doesn't get get a final word in. But I will remind remind you guys that Gen had fake blood before he even made it to to Senku's village because he was carrying the fake bl blood packs on him already um the night he got attacked which he hadn't made a decision to to stay yet mm -hmm. so i don't know if yukio could have the fake blood I... well, the thing is arrows are really powerful yeah and and it, those spears are really powerful too. That's why I'm not really oh yeah spear. sold on but yeah spear, sold on sorry it. but like you know like stuff stuff like that I don't yeah I don't know Brian I I'm not sold on it at all but do you think there's a chance I think that would actually kind of cheapen it on it, it would cheapen it and and Gin is all about trick trick trickery where Ukio is just like he can hear really well and he's a good archer so I don't know in other words they haven't shown us a skill set that would lead one to believe he would be good at faking exactly. a wound or his good. death. Where Gin, that's his whole thing. Yeah, and it's like, did Gin give everyone fake blood? Yeah. You know, so, so. it's like, I know they talked about it um, with um, Taiju, yeah. um, but it's like, I don't know if they would set that up to make it like look they look like they had lost people. I'm um, not sure. Sure. So, but yeah, that would seem kind of weird. So I, I do think that he is wounded. I do. I do 
do too. Um, the next things we get, I I want to point out a couple of animation things and see if any, either of you guys could call, uh, caught them when Senku and Sukasa speak to each other for the first time. Hey there, Senku. Uh, if you notice, the light changes and Senku gets yeah. darker in sh shadow while Sukasa gets lit up in light. Brian, did you get? I heard Christine say, "Yeah, Brian, did you ca catch that?" Uh, not consciously, no. Oh, okay. Yes, Senku definitely, um, noticeably to, uh, uh, if Christine caught it, because she's uh, oblivious to everything. Um, I'm not. I'm really just asking to sleep in the guest room tonight, are Yes, you I? are. <laughs> no, you're, you're gonna go sleep in the car. That's, that's the level you're at right now. I can't, can't, can't do, do that. My medicine's not a lot loud in the car. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh. Uh, GrowGeneration.com. Uh, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> anyways, um, it's, it's, it's a cool conversation because, uh, S S Sukasa, uh, t talks about, you know, feeling bad about having to k kill Senku, Senku twice. Senku talks about crawling from hell to meet you again only by the thin, Thread of science, and uh, um, it's 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 tense, man. Man, the 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 air there. I j I can't even put my the the animation on the 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 eyes, the f focus on on sound sound tone of voice the shadow even brian hearing hearing that not maybe not having seen it but n now knowing that christine and i both both noticed it this scene this this first interaction in a year what do you think what do you think well like that line you just said that was that was amazing and i love the the um both of these guys are very good at not only playing off each other, but that air of importance. And like, no matter how bad it looked for Sinku, Sinku never seemed scared. He never seemed like he was at a disadvantage. Um, yeah, it was just, you know, two en enemies, you know, dancing with words. It, it was really well done. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, the, the, the body language and the tone of voice that Senku has. Um, I wonder what he has up his sleeve. Because it's, you know, it's, there's something there because he's, you know, not, he's not surprised. We've seen him shocked. We've seen him scared. So, um, yeah, I wonder, I wonder what's gonna, gonna be happening there. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I got a, a section here on my paper that s says what what's next. I'm I'm gonna write something that down. Right, to just uh s say say something else about Doctor Stone Stone. Somebody. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, there was a a moment with um. Um. Why am I drawing a blank? Um. I don't know. I lost You're it. Fa failing I'm me, failing. Stop failing. I like it, it's it's the next part, and I, I won't go into it completely. But I do like the fact that when Gen mentions Cola, other characters sort of lit up. Like, oh, oh yeah, shit, the, Sinku could do that. Yeah, the Kirk. <laughs> like yeah, my thought like, was, everybody's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, is that an option? Yes, it is. I, I'm back. All right, all right. Let me get get control of this ship. You guys fucking suck. God damn. <laughs> Hit that Sorry. unsubscribe button, no, Brad. I'm jo jo joking. Um, <clears throat> so so so, this there this 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 uh this moment leads to the Lillian ploy failing. You know, uh, again tries to use Lillian's voice. Uh, uh, yeah, um, uh, uh, the guy spear guy sits there and s says, you know, hey, um, they're 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 liars. Uh. Um, and, and here's a mo moment where, uh, he demands that Senku give up his life and, uh, Taiju is like, you know, all upset. He's like, you know, um, 
uh, I failed you, you know, yada, yada. And, and Sinku has this moment and it go, goes right to what Brian was saying. He was never scared, never showed any fear, ne never did because of what he, what he tells t Taiju. He goes, you know, last time you didn't make it in time. I was alone, but look around, around you. I have y you, I have my, my Ishigami village. I have Gen and Nikki and, and, and you know, all, all of the, these people and uh, Brian, uh, a big question was answered by Gen, right, right then and there. There he goes. You know, uh, if if Senku loses now, I don't get any more cola. We we got our 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 final. You know, that's that's it. Gen is a hundred percent for certain, and I'm so so happy. I mean, I figured he was all all in. But the way he is letting them know for certain, I'm willing to die at this moment because life with uh, without what Senku wants isn't wor worth living, mm -hmm. and it's worth dying to 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 carry us on that way. As a big Yen fan, who you know he was my number number one up until you know Chrome really came into his own own mm -hmm. i i have to get, give it up to to that scene and and i just wanted to shine a light on it uh christine do you want to say anything else on that uh yeah i mean it's you know he's very much for himself for a while um and and i do like how he had said it i mean it he's he's willing you know to die for the cause but you know it's also letting them know like yeah we deceived you but you you got to think the the comforts that we had in the past look at what like you know when they think of the soda then look around mm -hmm. you know like look what look what we've built the cell phone the, the yeah look at what player. you could have and it's like it, i'm hoping that it's it's giving those people a moment to think like is this really what we want do we really want to be on on Sukasa's side so Yep. And then uh uh this get oh Brian uh again. Oh yeah, it was it was I, I love the whole like I said, the whole cola line was great and Sinku it, he should have just looked at Sikasa and be like, I not only built an army bitch, I built I have loyalty. And yeah. and, and that you know, that's what all that whole sequence was about. Yes, and and not so many. Yeah, I didn't even think about it about it that way. But yeah. he's had nothing but betrayal, and we know there's there's cracks between him and Hioga Sukasa and he Hioga too. So loyalty, damn, but Brian, that's a really good way way to way yeah. To put it. A lot of people are probably following out of fear or just like uh, this is all I got. Um, instead of the bond that villagers have with senku and you know all that they've built um not not just physically but you know like with with relationships so it's you know that's something that uh Tsukasa doesn't have and i think didn't he say something earlier about that like senku had said something i don't know about I've... what specifically no maybe not okay never mind Okay. Me. Okay. Um so we'll move move on to the to the final bit which is you know the the continuation of Senku's Spartacus moment if if you will. I've got all these, you know, pe people behind me and then all of the fighters, Kohaku, Ginro, Kinro, Ho, Magma, they basically go to contain uh 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 Sukasa and um Hioga um with you know, uh, Ginro reminding, you know, rules are the rules. Don't, don't k kill anyone, which again, makes me think at least for the moment, Yukio might still be alive, alive. Basically, K K uh, Kohaku says, let's give our scientists time to, to figure this out. This is a siege war. Let's hold off the enemy and give th them time. And what we see is Senku going after the, uh, nitric acid with a glass vial. Mm -hmm. My thing that I wrote down down in uh, oh wait wait, I'll just say that's the ending of the episode. So 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 
uh, I have an idea of what Senku's going to try try to do. Do I've already written it down. Down, Christine, what do you think Senku might be t- trying to do? I have no idea. Okay, but Brian, do you have an idea? Before I, I say, um, I just love that part. It's like the fighters fight the scientists science. You know, the, yes. I love the split. Yeah. I love Chrome is right behind Senku. I, that was amazing. Um, as far as what he's doing, I did notice the the little dropper thing and in, in his mouth. That I I don't know because I, I kept thinking I was like, well, what could he? What does he have time to do? And, and that that's what's really puzzling me. So I I, I don't know. So I have written down. Senku has secret stone warrior placed by Yuzuriha. Oh. I don't know. But that we we know that the the night all can work really quickly when it's spun down. Now, I don't know if he has the the stuff like the you know in one of his pouches the rest of what he needs for the night all cuz if you remember in season 1, they dump it on on uh, uh, Sukasa to to wake him up to save them from the lions, mm-hmm. right? Um, I I don't know. It just in my mind I could see him pulling out another pouch and it having because there was a certain proportion and I don't remember what the proportions were, but that's what I that's that's what I think is a a real possibility. Uh, so Christine on a a scale of of you know. 10 being uh, most likely, 0 being uh, not not at all your bat, bat shit crazy, Kyle. What do you think? I think you might be right. Um, yeah, because I, you know, he's, um, he, he had um, Yuzuriha on a secret mission. She's been, you know, putting pieces together. So, you know, maybe there is one person that he's looking for and of course if um if it's a if it's a threat to um um Tsukasa, then yeah like of course you smash him and try to kill him so and then it's like will this work so i'm i'm thinking that this is very plausible and i'm going to go with a 10 and i'm hoping that's not going to inflate your <laughs> ego too much bra brian uh, seven and a half, eight. I I think you, you're you, you might be on the right track. I, I can't think of anything else. Um, I mean, this show is good about pulling you know <laughs> random things out that completely make sense once you know he says it. you're like, oh shit, why didn't I think of that? But um, yeah, I don't know. I it um, it's a hell of a cliffhanger. It, it really is. It's a very well done cliffhanger. Yep, absolutely. Um, I love it. And then I love how they, they said at the, the end that their last line, line, Tsukasa and, and, and Senku saying, you know, the future will be decided by either strength or science. And, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I give this episode an, uh, uh, the, the third A plus of the season. So, um, I, I can't find any, anything wrong with the, this episode at all. Brian. It gets an A, a solid A for me. Okay. Uh, my my only only minor tiny gripe. This is why it wouldn't get an A plus. Is the tickle? Not, it's not the tickle scene. It's the whole lead up to it. I don't know. It was a little fan service to me. Yeah. Um, but but that that's the minor is, and it's so quick, and it, you know it's out of the way. But that's why it doesn't get the plus. But oh, okay. no, great episode. A. Christine. I was gonna say A plus. I don't have any issues with it. And yeah. I did have a question. You wrote something down that you wanted to discuss later. No, that was the, this. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I got that. That's the in, insert meme. I've got a meme that I'm going to insert in this this location for those that go, go to the YouTube channel and, and, and subscribe there and watch this in, in video format. Uh, they'll get to see a funny meme that, that'll go go there. So, yeah. Don't look at me like that. No, I'm going to look at you like that. <laughs> He's been messing with me today. Oh, man. Um, I don't know where they're going to go ne- next. Uh, uh, I have that theory. 
and um, I do have a theory. If it's if it's not a a secret warrior, um, I don't I don't know if they would go that far. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put that out there. Any anyways, any anyone else have any anything else they want want to say about about this episode so at all? Uh, no, I don't I don't think so. Brian, N- no, no, no. It was good. Alrighty. Guys, we we have uh this this was episode eight, so we have nine, ten, and eleven. That is three episodes left. We need your suggestions down in the comments below on what you want to hear us review next. If you don't give us any suggestions, uh, we're gonna end up picking something for you. I think Christine and I were thinking something easy, simple, FLCL, mm-hmm. just the six original e- episodes. But I, I just ordered a poster. Yeah. That's going in my house, and it looks really cool. And we both both have uh, uh, FLCL tattoos, so. Yeah, we got the same thing, well, sort of. You've got Conti, I've got Adam, Isk, which yeah. is funny because I've got, uh, what's his name, Nauto on the out- outside of Adamus, but that's because it's a tattoo and it can do whatever the fuck it wa- wants. Anyway, <laughs> please. Um, uh, check out our, our uh, YouTube channel, like I was saying, guys, but also the uh, we- website, lrmonline.com, for all your entertainment news, needs, and opinions. Uh, um, also, all of our podcasts are available on audio for- format, wherever you get your pod- pod- uh, podcasts from, from Spotify to Google to SoundCloud. Um, SoundCloud's really cool because it's got playlists that we can curate for you. Uh, so if you're into that, there, there's that. We're not sponsored by them or anything, but you know, if SoundCloud wants to, sure, why not? Um, and then, uh, yeah, I think I, I think I, I plugged everything. Look for the genre verse, uh, logos and and brand changes and name changes for certain sh- shows. All our mornings <laughs> to your <coughs> anniversary, <coughs> May twentieth. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then then uh, check out for that stuff. Um. We've not been sold, not, not been bought. We are expanding into the multimedia realm and into multiple genres for you guys, which is why this wonderful anime uh, pod podcast exists to begin with. So with that, Brian, where can the good people find you? You at elsewhere. <laughs> You can find me on YouTube. The channel's Pulp Mythos, P-U-L-P-M-Y-T-H-O-S. That's one word. Uh, check out our Invincible season finale review later this weekend. And uh, Mayor of Easttown, new series, really good. We're reviewing that. There you guys go. Uh, Christine has recently been writing for, for the website, so you guys can catch her articles on, on LRMOnline.com and yell at her in those those com- comment sections. And uh, you can fi- find me at that com alone on Twitter, at that one pile alone on Instagram. That's the number one. Thank you guys so much for listening. We'll talk to you next time.